In this video, I will demonstrate how to prepare vaccine from a multi-dose vial. A multi-dose vial, or MDV, contains more than one dose of vaccine. CDC recommends that providers prepare and draw up vaccines just prior to administration. Vaccines should be prepared in a designated area that is not adjacent to any area where potentially contaminated items are placed. Before preparing or administering any vaccine, always start with proper hand hygiene. CDC has hand hygiene guidelines and resources for healthcare personnel available online. Begin by removing the vaccine from the storage unit. Verify the box contains the correct vaccine. Check the vial for an expiration or beyond use date if applicable. Additional information about the beyond use date can be found in the manufacturer's product information and on the CDC Vaccines and Immunizations website. Next, gather the appropriate supplies. This includes a syringe and needle, prepackaged sterile alcohol wipes, and bandages. Needles and syringes may be packaged together or separately. Next, verify the vaccine you are preparing matches the standing order or the provider's order. Then check the expiration or beyond use date on the vial. Never administer vaccine after the expiration or beyond use date. Now mix the vaccine by shaking the vial. Check the vaccine to make sure it is thoroughly mixed. Make sure there is no discoloration or precipitate. The vaccine should not be administered if it is discolored, contains particulate matter, or is not thoroughly mixed. Remove the protective cap from the vial if present. Use a new sterile alcohol wipe to clean the stopper on top of the vial. Do not rub the stopper vigorously as this can move bacteria from the uncovered rim of the vial to the stopper. While the alcohol is drying, check the expiration date on the needle and syringe if present. Never use expired equipment. Next, carefully open the needle and syringe. Be careful not to touch the inside of the packaging or where the needle attaches to the syringe. Place the packaging inside up on the counter with the needle and syringe resting on the inside of the packaging. Carefully remove the protective cover from the needle. Being careful not to touch the opened end, Place the needle cover back on the packaging. Hold the vaccine vial on the counter with your non-dominant hand. Holding the syringe with your dominant hand, insert the needle straight into the center of the stopper. Pick up the vial and syringe together, then invert them. Hold the vial and syringe at eye level and carefully pull the needle back so the tip is in the liquid. Withdraw the vaccine by pulling on the plunger of the syringe. Fill to the dosage mark on the barrel of the syringe. Now remove the vial from the needle and return the vial to the counter. To release any air bubbles, tap gently on the barrel of the syringe and then push up on the plunger, being careful not to expel the vaccine. Now recap the needle by replacing the protective cover on the needle. Recheck the multi-dose vial against the provider's order and recheck the expiration or beyond use date if present. If vaccine remains in the multi-dose vial, write down any relevant information needed for documentation, such as the manufacturer and lot number. Once in the syringe, many vaccines look alike. Label the syringe with the vaccine name or abbreviation. Put the multi-dose vial back into the box and return the vaccine to the storage unit. A multi-dose vial should not be kept or accessed in the immediate patient treatment area. The vaccine is now ready to administer. 
to follow medication administration best practice, healthcare personnel should only administer vaccines they have prepared themselves. There is no need to change needle between preparing and administering the vaccine as long as the needle has not been damaged or contaminated. If the sterility of a vial, needle, or syringe is compromised or questionable, appropriately discard the contaminated equipment. This video is part of a series designed to demonstrate vaccine administration skills and best practices. The video series is available on the Vaccine Administration webpage on the CDC Vaccines and Immunizations website at www.cdc.gov/vaccines.